five, four, three. Bring me the energy, Jay. Two. Welcome to Sneakers and Stogies, and it is Friday. Concert shirt Friday. Yert. We are live. Yert. Yert. But I needed that energy because, you know, I've been mellow. Product of Jack Daniels. No Carmelo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I feel thank you because I needed that energy. But today, you got your YouTube villain, Landon Strange. And your boy, Op Tramus, Primal If You Nasty. And we have a lot of, you know, a lot of topics to talk about on Juneteenth because, you know, it's Juneteenth, it's Friday. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. But we also have a special guest today. He won't give you his name yet. He's he's more bass villain than me. And I ain't got my mask on today. But, you know, until he gives me his name, he will not get a proper introduction. So, Damn. therefore... I'm happy that he's here because he has to talk about his fish story. Yes, sir. And then I have to pick his brain on Snow in the Bluff and Room 33, my personal subject of the day. Whew. But it's Friday, Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. Let's have a moment of silence for Juneteenth because it should be a federal holiday. So let's take that moment of silence. All right, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. We're back. So... But a lot has happened this week. Too much. Too goddamn much. And if you watch the Wednesday episode, which should be coming out Tuesday episode, my bad. It should be coming out soon. That you will see that Tuesday was dry as fuck. But the rest of the week, the nut shit began. Yep. The mask nut shit began. Like your boy Donald Trump saying that he made it known that Juneteenth's a holiday. Like he made Juneteenth famous. The fuck you did. <laughs> the only thing you made famous was the wig that you're wearing. Whoever brand that is, that glue is strong as fuck. The women need to support that wig supply because at the end of the day, that wig is holding up tougher than most people's tans. Hey, but wasn't he trying to have a rally on Juneteenth? Yeah, in Tulsa, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, hey. on the 99th anniversary of the Black Wall Street, he tried to have a rally. He pushed it back till what was it? Uh, he pushed it back till tomorrow. Said his black friends. He ain't got that bitch. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. The only black friend he really has in office is Ben Carson and we don't fuck with him. He don't fuck with us. I mean, he a doctor. I get it. You got money. That's cool. But at the end of the day, you ain't doing shit to help us out. All the doctors don't have money. Remember that. Oh, that is true. All doctors do not have money. But yeah, thank God he didn't put it today. But even still putting on this weekend is ass enough as it is. And me trying to get this lighter lit. I mean, the cigar lit is just not working today. Use the matches right next to you. I will. But I got it lit. Yay! Complications that I have to deal with, ladies and gentlemen. The struggle of being Landon Strange, you know? A normal person that's not so normal. Random as fuck. Just imagine. I deal with this since I was five. Still, it's a good thing to deal with. I have a question for you guys. How do you think society would have reacted if Trump would have went through with that rally? It would have been a race riot. For sure, riots. It would have been fucking riots in Tulsa. It would have been literally 99 years of revenge on riots. And it would have been another riot to happen. But this time, the black folks would have been getting their revenge. Like, to be honest, I'm going I'm to just go ahead and say it out there. Somebody, I don't know who it would have been, but somebody would have went through all the Trump security and iced that boy. I mean... I don't con normally condone, you know, slaughters of presidents and assassination. I don't condone it. I don't either. I'm just saying if he would have went through with it. Hey, that man, man would have been celebrated. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> he already mad because we uh, celebrated Obama on his birthday. For sure did. I do it again. <laughs> I do it every year he is alive or still kicking. Because he looked like he... It's sad when your own Republican Party, the Lincoln Project, is doing videos that make you look horrible. Tell me something about that. They're doing better than the Democrats that's blowing up this nigga, man. Hey, we still waiting on the Simpsons prediction. That's all I'm going to say. I'm still waiting on the Simpsons Fast. prediction. Because everything they've predicted have come into fluation. Most of the big predictions that exactly. come through. Exactly. Because so, they have this on YouTube that said they have some predictions that haven't came out yet. Well, I'm waiting on this one. I ain't even going to say what it is, but I'm just waiting on it. Mm. If you a true Simpson fan, you know what I'm talking about. Exactly. So, before we get deeper into the show, today, by the time, the time this episode comes out, hopefully it'll be the 30th anniversary. No, the 25th, 30th anniversary? Mm -hmm. uh, I might, my numbers might be off of the Jordan 1s. 
because we're going to also have a mid-season. This is technically the mid-season finale. Yo, yo. And technically, things are close, but we're still going to be shooting. But we're not going to be releasing as much just so we can get everything in order. But as you see, we have a list of ones from the Olympics, the Royal Toe Mids, the original Royal Toes. We got the, no, we don't have the Pine Greens. Thank God. We got the Boston Celtics. Thank God. And the hair ones. But needless to say, my first topic of the day, the Pokemon expansion pack. 30 bucks for the Pokemon expansion pack. So is it separate or is it together? Two packs. Uh, from what I read in the Nintendo store, it's like once you purchase it, uh, then when the, once you purchase it, you already get access to the Isle of Armor. Of course, I remember that. Where you get the Cub Fu, uh, legendary Pokemon and you technically have to choose how you want to evolve it. Yeah, because it's two different evolutions. I remember seeing that in the yeah, video. Yeah, so the two evolu evolution characteristics, it's a dark fighting Mm. And a dark water. So, so the real nigga would be the dark water, but yeah, because the dark fighting is single strike, mm. but the water is multi strikes. So basically, like Bruce Lee in a sense. Exactly with the specials and the Gigantamax. Mm. So, uh, once you purchase the thirty dollar expansion pack, you know it's twenty nine ninety nine. Of course. Um, once the next uh wave come out the second with, part yeah the second the part tundra. And, yeah in november yes i think you already like automatically get it since you already paid the 30 dollars. okay that don't makes sense. don't quote me but we'll get the facts we'll get the facts and let y'all know put it in the description below but so far the expansion pack it's a go you know since we're taking a mid-season break as well i want to get Hopefully, Ivy and Wally on starting while we're still recording. Yeah. So that way we can have on because I want her to talk about the donations and everything that she's been getting for her show. Yep. I mean, not for her show, but for her Ivy her, Farms. Her Ivy Farms. Yeah. And then our other interview that was supposed to be the Saturday got pushed back, which kind of is a good thing because we had to plan some stuff out. And she had a friend that come through from Cali. So it was also family come through from Cali. So that's also a good thing. Yeah. So that gives us time to break, you know, get through the editing and get to everything because we've been pushing the envelope. Yeah, I mean, also with the mid-season finale, we can also give them, like, more box openings mm. from our packages with Thompson Cigars. Exactly. So that way and you... also Sweet Lips Cigars Lounge. How was that? We need to talk about that. Man, when I say it was the best vibes I've had mm -hmm. in a cigar lounge, like, already is black owned. Okay. And me and Jakari talked to the owner. Hey, whoa, 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 before we get there, you can't say his name until he gives me a nickname. Well, okay, I, I do apologize, LB. I, I apologize, LB. <laughs> until he gives me a nickname? Since Jake is being a dick, I apologize, LB. <laughs> Everybody know who he is. So. I want my mask in. I want to wear my mask. <laughs> but he's being a dick. But with me and, and one of my good line brothers yeah, no. went to Sweet Lips uh, Cigar Lounge. Thank you. We had a real good chill vibe moment. You know what I'm saying? The owner was ma was mad chill. Like I had the Paradama 20th anniversary. I still have the rapper. Where's the rapper? The rapper's right here. Post the cigar uh, in the description below. But the 20th. And that's your cigar of the day, right? That, <coughs> excuse me, but yeah, that's my cigar of the day, too. Woo! 20th, 20th anniversary. Bring it down. So, uh, real chill, man. It's BYOB. So, me and Jakari thought they played it <coughs> smart. I'm sorry. Me and my LB. <laughs> Until he touched me the name. Me I'm and my Me and my LB thought they were playing it smart because you know our pro fight coop yeah, I know has his liquor store yeah. right next to it. Mm. So you can buy your liquor from OST Liquors. Uh -huh. And then if you want to go sit in the cigar lounge at Sweet Lips, you can just bring your bottle there. Which is a bonus because you're getting cigar, liquor. Exactly. The ladies get to get their hair stuff on the way. Exactly. And then you got, what else? There's something else there. There's a veterinarian up there. A vet shop. And there's a marketing shop. 
But there was another thing. Oh, so we got word that our other pro fight, once once it's been confirmed that he's opening a daiquiri shack in between OST Liquors and Sweet Lip Cigars. Ah, so that means 08 is taking over. <laughs> 08 is taking over, ladies and gentlemen. 08 is Hey, over. I'm trying to be on, on they type of level. You feel me? Get, <laughs> I'm here for get it. Get a couple sweets and we opened up some stuff as Fall 13. Exactly. Right? Fall 13, you know, production. Literally. Hey, hey literally. But the vibes is there. It's real chill. Once you go in, like, good music playing. They had some Erica Badu playing. Um... The humidor is all the way in the back. Okay. Uh, they have a nice selection. The owner actually has his uh, own brand of cigars. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't purchase them because I saw Paradoma and that, that was... It just snapped. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was the only Paradoma I haven't smoked on the 20th anniversary. Mm. And to sit there and smoke it and enjoy it, like, mm. that was an amazing feeling. Like... I, rec- I recommend, like, if you're a cigar smoker and you just want a lounge to kick it in, just to chill, like, check out Sweet Lip Cigars off of OST, Old Spanish Trail. For those who don't know. For those who don't know. And, you know, just go enjoy it. Vibe out. Have a good time. And they got a chess board there. Ooh. They, I- they had people playing chess when, when you first walk in. So That's good. You know, the vibes is there. And see, we finally got the name that we're going to call our line, brother. JB, the Intelligent Investor. And I'm here for it. Because, you know, he talks about a lot about investment. We're going to get into that, too. So, oh, we'll, yeah. Oh, so yeah. when we oh, take, yeah. we're going to probably take two breaks within that. Now, I want to talk to him, not just about the fish. I think that's more your subject. But I want to get with him on the music. Okay. Because I feel like that's more of a conversation that we can literally have and have a perfect debate on. Well, I mean, you could do it all at once, so it won't be multiple transitions with me and you. But i rather that because it helps with the editing flow. It, I, I don't like getting up and then having to cut. when you Because you got to remember, I'm editing from scratch. Yeah, that's fine. That's and, fine. like, I, the audio is easier for me to edit because all I have to do is just listen. But when it comes to actually, like, watching the film, making sure the lips match, making sure that everything flows... I have to have the cuts because it helps me know where I need to, you know, edit. Hey, it's all good. Cause, so, yeah, because I need to bring it back. I need to bring it back. So, we got the cigar shop told us some good news as well, right? Yeah, and OST Liquor told us some good good things too. So, the owner of OST Liquor, our pro fight Coop and his wife, mm-hmm. they told us while they were fixing up in there we went in there and chopped it up with them for a little bit okay they said if we wanted to come film the podcast there hey let them know when it's green light three more locations that wants to get in stogies <laughs> just remember <laughs> it's green light and then talking to the owner like i told him we was gonna give him a shout out and he said hey take my number down and if y'all want to come in film come film so hey, we gonna have a we gonna have a Instagram in the bottom of the screen, so. and then also I add it into the video so that way when I do put the podcast separately, that you will have an Instagrams as well mm-hmm. because I've got a list of Instagrams that I've been adding to it as well. So that's a good thing. But there's a, there's you know so much going on this week, mm-hmm. and that, that's a good that's a positive thing that happened. I'm glad that it did happen. That you know. That happened because I couldn't go during to the editing process of what we're going through. That's why we need this mid-season break. Yeah. You know, you, we have literally 11-some videos on there. Plus more I still need to edit to get on there as well. And it's a good thing. Yeah. But before we take the break, we're going to look at the shoes. Now, to my right, which is y'all's left, of course, you know, I'm not going to be an ass. We have the Royal Ones. And they're the original. They're the original colorway with the Nike Air, but the thing is, they were released within the last two years. So I like the I like the white bottom. I mean the white toe, but the mid box, the box, literally, right here. It's not like the pine greens, but you cannot see the crease either, which is a good thing. So when I show the shoes on B roll, you love to see them. Now, I have a pair that I beat to hell, and I'm not even gonna lie, I beat the fuck out of these shoes. You know, my Olympic ones, it's one of my favorite shoes. I used to skateboard in them, you know, 
I've had these since 2008, the Ike Hurricane. So it's it was, you know, one of my favorite shoes to have. But when we bring another pair of ones, the Boston Celtic ones, oh shit, it's my nigga DJ T. Wall in the mix. But, you know, this is one of his ones, these green ones. You don't see the creases in these, which is which is what I like. Like, mm-hmm. unlike the pine greens, you don't see the crease, but the material is just trash. But this was this was a nice pair. And then we brought back the royal ones on this side. You know, we brought these back because they're nice. For the mid-top, shoot, they're really nice. Yeah, and those, I will say those are the only pair that I rock with that are mid-tops. Because I don't really rock with mid-tops like that. I rock with high-tops. Low tops, you know. And see, we only have two high tops here compared to the rest of them. Exactly. Oh, DJ T. Ross say you rock, rock a low top. I hope your hair fall out. I hope wow, fall out. we are roasting live, ladies and gentlemen. It is live out. roasting. Hope your hair, hair fall out. Live look roasting. At, look at you. What, what, what kind of socks you got on? You got some Snoopy socks? You a dog now? Huh? 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 You be traveling? Where your little yellow bird at? Huh? Huh? Hey, don't talk huh? about Woodstock. Huh? Woodstock Wait, what Woodstock at? Huh? 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 You smoke? You smoke like you at Woodstock, but you ain't got no Woodstock. Huh? We are huh? roasting huh? live huh? roasting network. Huh? 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 Damn. 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 Oh no. Damn. Damn. Oh, no. Damn. We forget about you. We forget about you. Your roasting is coming. Your roasting is coming. Your roasting is coming. I'm glad we getting live roasting network because that's probably gonna be a side thing. We gonna have a roast channel just roasting niggas low key. You eating that pizza so you can get thick, huh? Oh, right. that's him. Oh, 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 we oh, are going oh. there. Right. I hope it's extra pepperoni hey, on there, huh? All your meals with me anyway. Who? All your meals. Hey, hey, we're not breaking them in the new This is a non neo war zone. We need this out of there. We need them out of this. I do not need them trying to play my my channel and do something better, which they're not gonna do. But we don't need that. I'm not editing this out. It's live. <laughs> but breaking it back before we take the break, I'm bringing in the hair ones. My old nine release because niggas don't understand like the re-release wasn't as good as the original, and so yeah, the original is way better. Like this is the better one compared to the newer release. And even those I skateboarded in, but they, the Olympics and the hairs got me through undergrad. Like the new releases, I didn't see much of a hype like I normally see. For like, Jays. like we I, had the hype. Yeah. Like the only hype you really see is the Travis Scotts, and that's yeah. kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the diversity of the shoe and what brings everything back together, so. For sure. It, I'm sorry, the Live Roasting Network. Live Roasting Dang. Network. We gonna have a side channel. We got cigars and roasting. Cigars, roasting, and drinking. <laughs> yes, got to have the drinks. Because we try, because you trying to get sponsored by Hennessy, so that's between you and them. Especially since they sponsoring black businesses now. You see? see? You see? See? You see? I see where you're going with. You see where I'm going, man? So hey, just be ready. I'm I'm waiting on that uh cognac and tequila deal. Once once that deal go through, whew, we gonna have our own sponsors. <laughs> sponsor, 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 sponsor. But Hennessy, we would still love you to sponsor us. Thank you. I'm I'm your biggest fan. So we about to take this quick break and bring in JB, the investigative investor. No, I'm sorry. JB, the intelligent investor. How you mess up his name? Because man? I just found out today. Like, like, how you no, 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 because you can't control me. Hey, you know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna say this. He just said the name. Literally. That don't mean ten, nothing. Look, that don't I ain't been online nothing. almost ten years. No so I don't remember no info nothing. like that like him. So that my apologies. That don't JB, mean nothing. the intelligent yeah. investor. My bad. Yeah, apologize to my nigga, man. Hey. That, that, that's that's fucked up shit. You wouldn't let me say the nigga name. You can't right. give you a nickname. It took him then when he give you it a nickname. It took him over the whole time. No, no, I love that. my line brother to death. Fuck Don't that. get it twisted. I'm on your head. That's bro. fine. But at the <laughs> end of the day, I didn't want to call by the actual name because, you know, he got too much going on business-wise. That's why I said, give me a nickname. 
I would have said Jay Diddy ain't rats after taxes, but that's neither here nor there. So, we about to take this break. Yeah, we need to take this break. We need to take this break. So you take that phone call. Not taking the phone call. <laughs> I got to get with your car. I mean, Jay be on this one, so. Got it. All right. Yerk. Yerk. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. It's your boy, I'm Trey Miss Primal. If you're nasty with my LB, one of my favorite LBs, JD, intellectual investor. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> you got on your link for messing up my name, and then you came over here and butchered my name? Wait, 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 wait. So it's not JD? It's JB. JB. Um, Do you know Mr. what? Intellectual, can you uh, raise up a little? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Damn, damn. All right, well, well, my boy JB, intellectual investor, you know, intelligent investor. Intelli- I am intellectual as well, though, but I appreciate that. Idea. You know what? I could just call you Jakari. <laughs> look, look, hey, that's perfectly fine too. We can, we can, we can keep it a JD yeah, yeah. if you want to. Yeah, you know, Jay what I'm Diddy, eight racks after taxes, something like that, something like that. Hey, we got my boy on the show, man, all the way from Minnesota. All the way from Minnesota. How, how, how you been loving it out there in Minneapolis, man? Let me tell you something about Minneapolis, man. The winter times are absolutely terrible, horrible. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when that sun started to come out, mm-hmm. completely different world, man. Land of 13,000 lakes to be exact. Yep. You get outside, get on that water, a little boat action, go yep. get you some nice Italian food, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some nice Neapolitan pizza. <laughs> we can't forget. We can't forget about the Juicy Lucy's. The we Juicy Lucy's. Them. For okay. all of y'all who don't know, you know what I'm saying, that Juicy Lucy's when they stuff the cheese on the inside of yes. the burger. Yes, the nookie. There's nothing <laughs> like it. <laughs> nothing if like it, you ain't it, have man. one, you got to get out to the Twin Cities to get one. Yeah, man. Hey, nice. I'm trying to get out there this year whenever this coronavirus settles or whatever. But I'm trying to get out there. You know, we had a good time for your birthday. We did. Hennessy, tequila, mainly Hennessy. A lot of long nights. White Castle. I fell asleep on my White Castle while Jake, Toki, and Oliver went to go get White Castle. <laughs> you went to sleep on your White Castle. Like, yo. That I wasn't was, even up for that. No, uh, <laughs> you, you went straight to sleep. And I just told him, hey, go get my White Castle. And I fell in the middle of the, of the couch. And I was out. But hey, that was a good time. Definitely good time. But man, let's talk about this fish that you caught, man. Yeah. You and Wally, you know, another one of our good LBs went on a fishing trip. And Indeed. all I saw was first I saw it on his story, which you posted up with this big ass fish. I was. Like was a big <laughs> fish too. Like how like how was that experience, man? Like what was going through your mind once that big ass fish just came up? Well, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of a tough day for me, you know. My line brother, you know, was giving me all types of, of trash because I wasn't reeling in fish like, you know, him and his pops. Mm-hmm. And uh we had got into a good spot. Everybody was reeling in fish, reeling in fish, you know what I'm saying? I hadn't I hadn't hit yet. And we were running low on shrimp. That's the type of bait we were using. So I had this little baby shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Got my bait already on my hook, threw it out there, and it didn't take 30 seconds. I got a bite, and I and I set the hook, yeah. and I'm like, wait a minute. That's that's not no regular fish, you know what I'm saying? When yeah. You got something supreme on, you know what I'm saying? That thing took off, bro. Supreme most noble. And absolutely. You know it. <laughs> um, took off on me. So I was a little nervous at first. I was like, I don't even know what I got on here, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. uh, I kind of got quiet, you know, because I wasn't sure, you know what I'm saying? And we're on a boat, too, you know what I'm saying? I looked down, I was like, do I got enough room to maneuver? Because, you know, last thing I want to do is be in the, get, get. Get, get overboard, you know what I'm saying? Bro. With the with the, with the the fish on. So, you know what I'm saying? After I got settled and everything, I was like, wait, wait a minute, y'all. Like, this here the one, you know what yeah. I'm saying? This here the one. So, you know, I fought for, with me for about 45 minutes, bro. Like, I mean, we were getting ready to go in for lunch, you know what I'm saying? We had yeah. been out since 6 in the morning, got up at 4, yeah. you know, just trying to plan out the day. We said, okay, you know, this is like the last one. You don't catch any this time, we'll go in. And then instantly got it hooked. An hour later, we're trying to reel it in, trying to reel it in. Kept fighting, going back out, reel it in, fighting, going back out some more. And then finally, man, we got it close to the boat. We could start seeing the color of it. It was mm-hmm. this big black drum, man. Huge fish. Um, 
had to be like the the granddaddy of the sea, man, because that hey. thing was. When y'all put it on that grill, it was for sure the granddaddy of the pit. Absolutely, bro. You ain't lying, man. It was well worth it. It was well yeah. worth it. Shout out to my line brother Wiley, you know what I'm saying, for allowing me to go on a trip and everything. Yeah. You know, he may have outfished me, but you know what I'm saying? I caught the biggest fish. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, you top know what I'm prize saying? right there. Exactly. Man. That's you know? the top prize. Shout exactly. out to Wiley, man. And uh so me and you went to Sweet Lips Cigar Lounge. The other day, Indeed, you did. How was your experience? I explained my experience, but how was your experience? Man, I, I mean, I feel like it's one of those spots. If, if, if you in Houston, you a cigar smoker, you got to check it out. Exactly. And it's black owned. Black owned. Uh, didn't he? That. And then he didn't the owner tell us he had like thirteen other locations: one in New York, one in Tennessee, yeah, Atlanta. one in Atlanta. Yeah, man. Yeah. Bro, if he sells his cigars everywhere. Um, uh, I'm definitely gonna look into purchasing some myself. Um, but he's he's got the business down a lot. This venue is really like nice, low key, mm-hmm. um, subtle vibes on the inside. Good music playing, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. BYOB, like you mentioned before. Um, but it's one of those places you could just you know set up shop, kick it for a little while, smoke your cigar, have a good time, good conversation, whatever you need. You know what I'm saying? And and the hum, you know, humidor room, you know, all the different cigar selections was really you know. Just a, a really dope experience. Exactly. How did you enjoy your cigar that you purchased? Because you got a pair of Paradama too. I did. And man, that was a nice cigar. Good smoke. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's something that you know I needed for a while. I just really got on uh, these Rocky Patels. So to switch over to Paradamo, you know, that was that's going to be the, the next purchase when I get back home. I'm going to have to give me a couple of those. You know, oh, yeah. Smoke them. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I put you on Asylum 13. That was like yeah. your first first cigar that you had. You did. Asylum 13 was the first one, bro. And, man, that Asylum, bro. You yeah. like that thing. That You can smoke that thing all day. Exactly, you know? so man. Exactly. We're we getting out here diversifying our uh, cigar selection. You yes, know, sir. Um, learning a lot more. And, you know, get to check out spots like Sweet Lips. You know, exactly. Right down man. the street from TSU, you know. Yeah. TSU alums, you know, so it's really cool to just see the community like developing all these different things, you know, a place for, you know, young men and women to go to relax, smoke a cigar, have a exactly. good time. Exactly, because so. they mainly did have young people around our age, maybe a little older, but hey, I'm almost 30, so like I'll That's- be 30 in December, so I, I like to say I'm in their age range, but right. hey, but the vibe is cool, but I think Damo had a question. Yeah, for you and Jakari. Uh, that's real important because honestly, uh, I go to a lot of cigar lounges and Sweet Lips Cigar Lounge was the very first black owned that I went to. You know, I've always thought about opening, you know, my own lounge, but at first I wanted it to be a hookah lounge. Um like in the Mo City area because Mo City really doesn't have good cigar lounges out there. If they do, it's, you know, kind of one of those bougie type cigar lounge where we got the black on local seat in Houston off of uh, MLK and Griggs. So that that that's very important. Uh, but if you're looking to be a black owned business like start venturing out into like areas such as third war because you know gentrification is real so why not take over before the gentrification starts you know because everybody you, you tend to hear people say oh um people of other color trying to take over our community but at the same time it's like if you want people of your same color to like kind of take over instead of having other people take over then why not let the people of your color take over so that we can prevent that from happening facts and uh, talk about the like the whole network line too you know the fact that like these business owners that have you know their businesses on the same you know in the same shopping center they know each other yeah right and it's easy just to talk to another business owner 
and especially one that looks like you, speaks like you, et cetera, you know, about different issues that you may have or just going through paperwork, et cetera, to get your business up and running. So I think the fact that we have these, you know, different businesses now really growing, especially in Houston, Texas, you know, it's, I think it's really just important, you know, especially for young entrepreneurs, um, young black people who are, you know, venturing off into these spaces and want a space where they can go and just be their whole selves and see other people that look like them. You know, I think that's a really awesome thing. So Yeah, and then me and you actually caught on to, uh, when we were talking to the owner, we had actually caught on to uh, how we thought it was a good idea that our pro fight coop had the liquor store and people could go in, buy their bottle, then come to Sweet Little Cigar Lounge and get their chill on. Exactly. And get their cigar. So it's like, uh, he, the owner did tell us he knew our profile. Right, so, right. you know, that it, that's good that they already built that connection and that bond. So yeah. it's like, I it's basically like if they go into the liquor store and the liquor store doesn't have like they have cigars but they don't have a big selection right because some liquor stores don't have big selection of cigars and uh basically coop could be like oh if you're looking for cigars go next door it's byob exactly boom building exactly. building connections building businesses yeah exactly shout out to osc liquor coming soon because uh that was just a really good play for them for, exactly for, for, you know uh, Sweet Lip Cigars as well, really well thought out. And so it's going to be exciting when everything's all up and running to see the progress of everything. So Exactly, exactly. So we're going to take this quick break and, you know, we're going to have Landon Strange talk to, talk to our LB about the music and also the investment. So we'll be back. You heard? We back, we back, we back, we back, we back. And so, this week, before we get to the concert show Friday, I really want to get talking about the music. Now, you like J. Cole. I do. I love No Name. And if it wasn't for Minnesota, honestly, I wouldn't have fell in love with No Name and Diddy Bop. And I have both her albums. I have the re the pre-release songs that she did beforehand with Chance. Mm -hmm. And I have both Room 31 and Room 32. So when Room 33 came out, when she dropped the lyrics on Twitter and Instagram, because I follow her and her book company, I the, the book tour, I said, I'm listening to the song. I listened to it. My headphones were on fire for that one minute and 10 seconds. Yeah. So I heard some snow in the book. I fully didn't finish it, not because I didn't want to, just because time constraint. Yeah. But what did you honestly think? about this whole di whole issue that's going on because i really want to know your opinion yeah yeah so so let, let's get back to the the root how, how this all came about you know obviously there's been a lot of protests and of a lot of things going on in our communities of to course. our people of course and uh i believe no name mm -hmm. spoke out on on twitter or social media platform saying you know these are you all favorite artists talking about j cole kendrick lamar you know and and kind of like how they've been silent during this time but right? she said that multiple times beforehand too even before yeah. the protest, she's been said that she's been vocal about that. Most likely after Room Twenty Five came out, which was about almost two years ago, and she's been really vocal about people that's been silent, that's not really saying anything. So I really felt Room Thirty Three. But yeah. go on, I do do want to just really hear your opinion. Yeah, and, and I felt it too. And you know, it, it was interesting to see you know uh, to see J Cole respond because uh, I I felt like it was just a little bit out of the normal for him. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody has been asking about where is J Cole, where is J Cole. You know, when's the album gonna drop, Jermaine? You know, but didn't he just drop like the Revenge of the Dreamers, the Collector's Edition? He he did drop Revenge of the Dreamers, but you know, uh, Dreamville Festival, which was scheduled oh, for course. this year, um, and and he's been promoting the fall off. We've mm -hmm. seen you know you know uh, some promo for that. So yeah. everybody's been waiting on his individual album to drop this year because oh, he's been saying he's gonna drop. Oh, so course. everybody's like, where's Cole? You know, and then obviously everything's kind of transpired with COVID and uh, everything going on, uh, you know, with the black community. Um, and, and just with George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and a countless list of others. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now here we are, right? And so it was really just kind of unique or, or a different experience because, you know, J. Cole really doesn't like address things like this, you know, out in the open. And so it was it was really interesting to me because I thought, okay, Cole's kind of stepping out of his lane here. Lane here yes, know? I agree. And, uh, you know, I, I obviously I listened to both songs. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I had talked to some people near and dear to me about both songs, you know, and uh, one one thing that I will, will say that I respect about Cole, you know, after listening to the song, yes, some of the things he said were misogynistic. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree. Um, couldn't I'll... agree more. Uh, yeah, it was could, deep. It was deep. Could could he could he have uh, you used a better choice of words? Of course, absolutely. Of course. Um, I, I will say this: at, at the end of the song and throughout the song, he says, "You know, maybe he needs to look at himself and say, like, am I doing enough?" And I appreciated him for that because he took that he took what No Name, you know said you know he addressed her and said okay some of the things he said he could have been said a whole lot better yeah but at the end of the day he said okay maybe you know i'm part of the root of the problem and for for me you know we're all human we, we make mistakes we make mistakes and i appreciate the fact that he said okay maybe i need to check myself at the door you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying so that was a very uh very compelling thing for me to hear so i'm i'm not gonna lie you, you know for cold to you know come out like that was really a surprise and so I think sometimes when you do things out of like spite like that Mm -hmm. you know you're gonna make mistakes of course I think Damo had an important question that she wanted to get out It's very, I'll take it, because it's very important to remember they're still human, and at least they're both fighting for the same cause. The views might be different, the way they reach their opinions might be different, but it's important that society know that they're both human and they both make mistakes. Because I'll be looking at, and I normally don't do this, but when Hypebeast displayed the no-name, after a day later, by the way, it was late, but a lot of comments said they, they were both fake. Well, and I had to look at it, I was like, no, J. Cole's been woke for a minute, and no-name's been woke since she's came out. And she's not, and she's really low key about it, but n- people don't pay attention. And so, if society needs to pay attention, that they're, bo- they're both human, they both make mistakes, but at the same time, they their their opinions need to be heard. Yeah, and I just think they go about things differently. Exactly. And uh, I think we need to respect both ways that they, you know, go about things. And like to your point, Cole's been vocal about things um, in the past. Um, com- a lot of different bodies of work. Um, who, where he's expressed like his anger and frustration with the, kind of the way that things are kind of happening and mm-hmm. uh, evolving in America. So um, I think it's important that you know we hear their opinions mm-hmm. and we re- you know respect their opinions because everybody's entitled to their own. Um, and you know I've I've seen stuff about you know J Cole getting canceled. And J-, J Cole's not getting canceled. There's no way you song. and see this is the worst time to bring in cancel culture amongst the black community. Absolutely, because you're putting two artists against each other that have similar views and similar opinions. In different ways, and it, especially what I said last week, I mean last episode, that you know we should be protecting our black queens, but at the same time, you know we got to protect each other as well because we're still the black community as a whole. So I feel that this is not the way to cancel someone, especially right now. No, nah, absolutely not. Um, you know, even after even talking to people really close to me, you know, um, women really close to me, you know, I I heard through them like their frustration or mm-hmm. their opinion um, or their view about what J. Cole said. Of course. Um, and it wasn't, you know, like they were like, okay, J. Cole's canceled because of this song. It was more so like, yeah, you know, he, he could have said that better. You know, he could have used better wording, but, you know, J. Cole is still J. Cole. Mm-hmm. They still respect him mm-hmm. and they still understand that he's human like everybody else. So I think that's the, the, the type of like environment we need. We need to like look at things, assess and evaluate them for ourselves and, and come up to our own opinion. And mm-hmm. we can respect other people's opinions at the same time, so. Fair enough. Now, now that we got through the music, and that was one of my biggest points, but I'm glad you're on the episode because I needed a real Cole fan, and especially me being a genuine no-name fan, this is actually very important for both of us to actually speak our point. But investing, you're the man to talk to about investing. What do you have to say about the market right now? You know, it's been a very interesting year. Uh, it was very interesting before COVID. Um, mm-hmm. For for those who really follow the market, there's been a lot of things that have been going on around the world. Um, 
that have really just kind of spooked markets. So it's interesting to see here we are with COVID mm -hmm. um, and to see how much the equity market has rallied back, mm -hmm. um, how much currencies have rallied back. Um, Not to interrupt you, but do you think it's going to stay like that? Or do you feel like the second wave, because we haven't got out the first wave, is going to impact even more? Yeah, yeah. So I, I think we're kind of getting to the point where uh, the, the rally back has kind of been fully priced in. And there's really no room for it to evolve further without more clarity as in regards to COVID mm -hmm. and every and everything else. So people are predicting that, you know, cases are going to spike as states start to open back up. Of course. Which, you know, is expected. It's going to be expected. Um, and, and so that's really going to drive some uncertainty. But there's a lot of businesses that have gone bankrupt, mm -hmm. a lot of businesses that are searching for financing of course. Um, to stay above float. So I find it really hard to see the market rally more. Um, and, I, you know, I think at the end of the day, people are going to have a need for, for dollars. Of um, course. To, to fund their businesses, especially for businesses that have um, that sell assets that are dollar based. So I think mm -hmm. the dollar is going to uh, start to appreciate a little more. Um, people are going to understand that the equity market can't rally anymore. Of course. And they're going to start to take profit on stuff. Um, so it's going to be a wild ride the second half of 2020. I believe it's been a wild ride the first half. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's only going to get worse. I, I, I feel like, you know, right now we, we've like got, got into the top of the hill on the roller coaster yeah. and we've started to like come down a little bit, yeah. but we really don't know how far the drop is. Right? Oh yeah, it could be down, it could be below the earth at this point. Yeah, we, I don't, feel you. we don't know if we're talking about like a Goliath type roller coaster Ooh. or, you know, a little bit of like colossal, whatever yeah. type roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, so we'll see, but you know, I think that's that's the kind of beauty in markets, right? Things go up, things go down. And of course. With, no matter which way they go, there's an opportunity to make money. Of there's course. an opportunity to like help plan better your future, whether it be for retirement, um, college education, of course. or just for leisure. So I think there's a lot of different you know opportunities out there for people wanting to get into investing, et cetera. So. Okay, that's that's real interesting. Now, not to change subject, we you know changing the subject just a tad bit. You're from California. Yes. You live in Minnesota. Yes. I know you. I know. I saw something that your sister posted that said they was they might have a clan rally in where you're from. Yes, I, I did see that. So I was wondering, what was your take on that? Uh, you know, I was kind of scared. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I I think sometimes we as people like we hear about these things, but you know, we don't know like how close they are to us. Mm -hmm. So to see that for me, I was I was a little shook. I was a little frightened because you know this is my hometown. Mm -hmm. Grew up there. Of um, course. Uh, and and have since moved on. But to see stuff like that happening in a community where you know, I, I used to go outside running, you know, down the street all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was the 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 era before you know. Uh, really, really before smartphones really like popped off. Of right? course. So like I'd be like, Mom, I'm going running, mm -hmm. and you know she'd like hope I'd show back up in 30 to 45. Of minutes. course, because you know black moms are very important to us, and exactly. And Father's Day is this coming up weekend, so it's it's just a big deal. So it's uh, a real big deal. Yeah, it, it. I I'm just like I'm hopeful that we will really start to see and initiate change. Mm -hmm. that is going to be lasting of course. Um, and that people will start to understand and see like, hey, there are some things going on that um, just aren't right. And so if we take it back to just the uh, right or wrong type viewpoint, yeah. some of the things that have happened in, in, in America of course. Um, over the past couple weeks, months, years, etc. Decades. Yeah, yes, centuries. Decades. <laughs> um, they're just not right. So of course. We, we need to fix them, right? I, I, that just is what it is. So, of course. Um, until we really start to see that change, you know, it's we're on a rocky road. So I'm actually headed back up to Minnesota, okay. and uh, it'll be you know my first time back since everything but, transpired. With because you story. left, not to cut you off, but you left right before everything happened. I did. I did leave right before everything happened, uh, just out of coincidence, yeah. and you know was uh, filled with phone calls, texts, everything, DMs about like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not in Minneapolis right now, but I appreciate you for. You know, reaching out, but I mean, you can see smoke from my apartment. Oh yeah, I know. We've been I, we've been there. So unless you moved again, I'm not mistaken. I did move. Oh, okay, so it's I a new apartment. Move. Yeah, new apartment. Okay, so yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for coming on the show. I really do appreciate it because I wanted to catch you before you left. I don't know if you're coming back or not, but if you do come back, you're always welcome on the show, of course. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate the love. I'm definitely going to have to come back on Sneakers and Stogies. Yes, because Sneakers and Stogies, random idea, proven effective. Proven effective. Proven. And it's quality, man. Exactly. Who doesn't like Stogies? Stogies and Sneakers. Exactly. We got the Sneakers here. We got exactly. the Stogies here, so might as well have both. 
Absolutely, absolutely. So I appreciate y'all for having me. Um, yeah, and we're gonna have to do this again, bro. We sure. we are gonna have to do this again. We are ready, you know, to now take our next break. One of our final breaks before we close out everything. We still have some topics we want to hit up, especially since it's being concert shirt Friday. So we'll be back. We're taking a nice, wonderful break. I want you to hit the yurt. Yurt! <laughs> yurt, it's your boys. We back, we back, we back. It's we your back. boy. I'm Trey Miss Primer if you're nasty. And your YouTube villain, Landon Strange. Why you do that with your voice, man? Like, <laughs> why? Like, <laughs> Like, you gotta change the voice, man. No, nah, you gotta have different energy, man. You act like you on a hotline for some old women. That's hey, man, the sugar, sugar mamas baby, is what's man. up, though. Hey, man, I, I need you to cut that out, man. You want a PS5, right? I All right, do, but I'm not. All right, I'm, I'm not doing my standards to make my voice that low. Like you, you sounded like a whole creep out here in these streets. I ain't man. no creep though, but you know. Shout out to Damo for bumping that table. Exactly, bro. dropping the switch game, hitting my raisin brain. <laughs> I believe you hit the table just so y'all. Can that was your back. Oh, not the back. <laughs> so, so a flat surface hit a flat surface. It calls it <laughs> like a <laughs> <laughs> Live Roast Network, ladies and gentlemen. Live Roast Network. Hashtag now. <laughs> All we need is that. Hey, like us, like we said, you can't watch this show and be having, you know, uh, your heart on your sleeve. Exactly. We you will roast you. Live <laughs> Roast Network. But let's get to one of the most important topics. Okay. HBUs, HBCUs are canceling homecomings. Man. Coronavirus won again. Won again. It came out of halftime for this. You know, you you realize July first is the start of 2020, right? Yeah, we restarted the year again for the seventh time. <laughs> for the seventh time, cause first PV posted on a uh, PV Energy yeah. or experience, experience Instagram stating that their uh, homecoming is canceled. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you read some of the comments, some of the alums are saying it's not on the official website. So we're still waiting. We're waiting for the official website. We're waiting live, ladies and gentlemen. But Jiho, greatest homecoming ever. And then they just celebrate 100? Yep, that's canceled. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. That's canceled. Jiho is canceled. Jiho is canceled canceled man they got to start over so we we waiting on tsu and, and pv to let us know what's up with homecoming because i'm still expecting homecoming i'm gonna turn up because that's gonna be my only break in the fall yours from, are mine too from my doctoral so my master's too look <laughs> that's like midterm for me depending e on the schedule exactly if i gotta be on zoom coming that is fine mm -hmm. i'll be in my house single barrel you know what? I might do it. And we talking about the premium single barrel, not the not the non degree. We talking about one hundred and thirty one point five proof single barrel. If you never had it, and you're not a drinker, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. That's don't like, don't feel like a big man with your big man pants on. Don't do it. You're not ready for that life. Exactly. Your soul will leave your body it's first a, sip. Like first sip, it kicks you like pow. Like not even gulp. Sip. Like it's like brown Everclear. Yeah, or brown diesel, more brown diesel, because the first, the beginning stage is brown Everclear. The later one is more brown diesel. So uh -huh. homecoming is being canceled. That that really sucks, though. It sucks for all the recent graduates in May. Mm, yeah, that really sucks, and it really sucks for the people that's graduating in December. But it also sucks for the incoming freshmen. Yeah. You know what, freshmen? I forgot about y'all. I, 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 I do apologize. I I forgot about y'all. You know, this would have been y'all first major experience at an HBCU. At an HBCU, but they not even gonna have parties. I don't think. Oh no, too uh, many people. You can't, you can't risk it. You can't have a party and be six feet apart. Cause once that beat king drop, it's a wrap. Or that Meg the Stallion. It, <laughs> it's a wrap. You like fellas? We all know. Once that song come on, or that juvenile. Boy, Cash Money Records from the nine, taking over from the nine nine in the two thousand. You already know that you can't stay six feet from that that round plumper. Bop 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 bop. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's still a sad time, but 
We forgot to come with y'all last week about bar 5015 in Houston. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of details that has been coming out and it's been one of the most interesting parts of the week from a Houstonian perspective, especially being on the Alameda area. Because that video. That video was crazy. To be honest with you, how sick can you be to pour gasoline all over that? Like it just reopened. Exactly. Just reopened. It closed. Didn't it close like last year, Damo? It did. It closed it, last it year. It closed last year, last and they summer. last summer. It's been a year since it's closed. Actually, because I remember going there with Channing. Yeah, and they reopened right when stuff was opening back up uh, because of our Texas governor. Let's not get started on his, you know, nut shit stamp. But <laughs> I'm still working on the stamp, by the way. But oh yeah, nut shit stamp. That's gonna be a shirt too. The show a shirt uh, for the website. But it just opened up. And what's crazy, the day that it exploded, Mm -hmm. I drove past it. And like, I was coming, I I was coming from U of H playing uh, Pokemon Go. Yeah. And I took Alameda to get home. And I was like, damn, why is everybody out today? Exactly. Especially in the museum district. In the museum district, I'm like, why is everybody out? 5015 was packed, Turkey Leg Hut was packed. The little uh bar that was close by was packed. It was like everybody was packed. Mm-hmm. And then to wake up the next morning to hear that it exploded, I'm like, man, that's just, that's just some crazy shit to me, man. Exactly. And I'll put the video on the B-roll right now so people that don't know what we're talking about can see this. Look, good thing they had surveillance cameras. Yeah. To, that's, that, <laughs> and see. then the trusty kicks are good for having surveillance cameras. So I'm actually glad about that. And then another story get break, broken yeah, into. Yeah, another shoe store me? in Houston got broken into. And I actually didn't visit it yet, but I wanted to go to it. I'm about to pull it back up. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, I understand, like, you know, times is hard, but y'all really breaking into these black-owned businesses where people are really put their hard-earned money towards. Because the same thing happened to the one in Austin, private stock ATX. When that guy broke in, I was like, bro, I'm trying to go over there and get a a new mask. Man, that's, like, that's just crazy to me, man. Like, come on, man. Y'all got to chill out, man. Yeah, it's Bounce Back HTX. That's the name of the store. That's crazy. That is, and they just broke the door. They did broke they, the door. Did they even take anything out of there? Not that I've been reporting. Not, not that I've seen that's been reported on. Because Petty Cash, you know, posted it. And that's how I found out. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I keep in touch with Petty Cash. Thanks to them for the video. But, you know, it's a good thing. But before, you know, the video keeps running, PS5. Mm-hmm. Prices. Official prices. The digital, all digital version is more, if I'm not mistaken, uh no it's the disc, other way around yeah the disc the disc version is 4.99 yes if you want to purchase your games in the stores mm-hmm. and the digital version where you just purchase your games on the playstation network mm. is around 3.99 yes me personally i personally want to get uh the 4.99 one. i'll pay it I'll, I'll pay that 4.99 because i'm old school i like to and I say stand in line and wait for my games at GameStop, how we used to stand in line yeah, for, for sure. like Street Fighters and stuff like yes. that, and wait. But and play the game before it comes out. Yeah, I'm I'm used to purchasing the games and you know letting it load on my uh, letting it load on my system and like I don't know, it just doesn't feel authentic enough to me to just get the digital version. Exactly, it won't feel the same. Exactly, but. Another topic that we got to talk about is the cop that killed Breonna Taylor was fired but not arrested. Why is this man not in jail? That's the question. I haven't seen the trend since it happened. Like, arrest him. Like, I've been seeing memes like, you know, today's a, uh, a like, you know, uh, today's a good day to get uh, Chick-fil-A, but also better to uh, get her killer. Uh, best one, Wheezy F Baby and the F stand for fucking arrest Breonna Taylor's killers. Yeah, I saw that too. That that's the one that I wanted to say, but you know it wasn't coming off the tip of the tongue. And I remembered it. That's the crazy thing. But yeah, I don't know what what's going on with that justice system. 
But it they, needs to be changed. It needs to be changed, and her killer needs to be put in jail. All three of them. Like, honestly and truly, I, I feel as though they should get the execution. But you know, Kentucky's laws are kind of different. So yeah. Especially with their DA taking a picture with Trump, and he's now Republican. That just threw me the fucking loop. Like, I saw that today. I was like, what the fuck? You're a black DA, and you're siding with Trump, of all people? I understand you're trying to get your money. He's an Uncle Ruckus. Boy, the new Uncle Tom for the decade, Uncle Ruckus. Uncle Ruckus. Spe- but, speaking of Uncle Ruckus, I watched an uh, episode of Boondocks uh, last night, the episode where Obama got elected. Bruh. Classic. 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 Before the camera, you know, try the times is out and hopefully keeps rolling, shoes. Great five, also known as three, top three champions, or... Jim Low, Jim Reds. Uh, I'm going with the Jim Reds. They're both a miss for me. They're both a miss. And the reason I say they're a miss, because I, I had this conversation with five people within the last two days. Mm-hmm. You're ruining great shoes. The store, the great, the black grapes didn't come out until 2013. I was in Alabama. Mm-hmm. And the fire red, black fire reds came out in the early 90s. So for them to mix the shoe, you could have done something else. You could have made it a package. Or something, but that was not the way to go, in my personal opinion. And the Jim Reds, you're missing up the low concourse, and I want to say the win like it's 1996, but made them lows the bottom, and it just didn't sit. Yeah, they didn't sit well with me. Both pairs, and Nike are just fucking up pairs for people to try to get their redemption for the shoes that they lost on, but it didn't work. It's not working with me. But if you had to pick out the two, who are you picking? I'm picking the gems. I'm sorry, I don't like. They're ruining fives. Yeah, they ruined. Fives. I don't even like fives. So you already know I'm a. I'm gonna have my fives probably 13s. for the, the season return, but that just ruined it for me. The thirteens, way to go. So, like I said earlier, before the camera try to kill us, and hopefully keep running. Please let it keep running. Please let it keep running. Today is concert shirt Friday. Now, my concert shirt, like I said the last episode, is the Yeezus tour. My one of my favorite Kanye tours, not his best. But it was the first time I got to see Kendrick Lamar live besides TSU. Mm-hmm. But for him to actually open up the show with no other opener and to take the show with Good Kid Max City and just run it before to Pimp Mockingbird, I mean to Pimp Butterfly. Was that was it? supposed to be to Pimp a Caterpillar. We know it was supposed to be to Pimp a Caterpillar, but it was legal issues behind that. That's the only reason why. Yeah. But to him open up and control the, the crowd in the show and then him doing the damn tour later. Ooh, that damn tour was amazing. Was amazing. But then when Kanye took the stage. I think, I think you should do that concert shirt for next episode. The the, mid, the return for the midseason? The, yeah, the damn tour. I, have I actually stood in line and got you that shirt. And I'm grateful. Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful. But when it comes to like the show, Kanye's energy at that show was different. Then glow in the dark because he didn't have Lupe, Pharrell, or Rihanna, but it was just him going through the classics and also the original joints. I mean, the classics and then the Yeezus stuff. Because remember what I said? One of our good friends, the Dark Skin Drake, apologized for that album. Yeah. And that's the first apology I've had in seven years. And it was ahead of his time. It gave Jock his, or Travis Scott for people who know him, his real first out there song that's on an album. Mm-hmm. And it actually showed. Like a different like music was changing with Kanye. Exactly. Because normally music changed with Cuddy, and now it changed with Kanye. And tones have been changing ever since. You know, these really came out. The how you make your music is different. Exactly. So before the camera really just closes out, I want to give y'all more. I'll probably do more if y'all like, comment, subscribe to the show. But closing remarks. What you got? What I got this week. I had a friend that actually told her story about her COVID, COVID issues and everything that happened. And I told her, you know, I'm glad she's doing well. You know, I'm glad everything is safe. So COVID is still real. So please be safe. If anything else, please be safe. Wear a mask, wash your hands. Wash your damn hands, people. La Rose Network. <laughs> <laughs> and my closing remarks is basically gonna be the same man until this COVID-19 settles like check on your your friends and family man check on their mental like some people are still like stuck in their houses to where they can't go places and that's messing with their mental if they're used to going out 
every Friday or even just to go out to a happy hour, check on them because they're probably going crazy right now. Exactly. And check on your nurse friends, your doctor friends, your lawyer friends, even your police officer friends, because it's a lot of stuff that's still going on mm-hmm. that the news doesn't report. Exactly. So check on them. Make sure their mental is good. And, like, I know social media brings a lot of stuff up, but let's try to focus on not going against each other exactly because i've been seeing a lot of stuff where a woman say uh protect your black queens then you have some men that be like why don't don't do, don't that. do that that's don't just, do that that's like, fighting the, that's fight the narrative exactly like support your black queens and your black kings don't go against each other because that's that's basically what they want to see is us against each other. And this is not the time for that. Exactly. This is not the time for that. Um, also, you know, if you need something to unwind, I, I recommend you go get you a JFR Nicaragua. And mix that with some Jack Tennessee honey. Yep. Or <laughs> my preference, Hennessy. Teach his own. <laughs> but this is the mid-season finale we're going to take a break we're still going to be recording but in the editing process we're going to get everything in order we're going to put everything out and also follow the subscriber list it's on the instagram it's on the link tree so make sure you follow it this is our mid-season break and also follow our individual pages because we might do a little you know the live yeah the live feed and maybe a little raffle once we had the shirts out exactly and also uh you know we gonna also do a little box openings every now and then when we get our packages and also we're gonna make a trip to sweet lip cigar so you can see our experience exactly so and once we find other black owned cigar lounges hey we're gonna keep y'all in the loop Exactly. That's what we want to do. So, mid-season finale. This is your YouTube villain, Landon Strange. And your boy, Optremis, Primal if you're nasty. And we out. We'll be back in a few. Yeah.